I always thought insomnia was the worst thing that could happen to me, until I saw what crept into my bed while I was supposed to be asleep. The clinic said I'd be monitored with cameras and sensors for a week, nothing invasive, just observation. Every morning, the researchers gave polite smiles and generic updates, but I could tell something was off. On the fourth day, I caught one of the interns staring at me with this strange, guilty look, like he knew something I didn't. By the fifth night, curiosity clawed at me harder than exhaustion ever had, so I swiped a peek at the nightly recordings on their computer. That's when my stomach dropped. The footage showed the bed, my room, but not me. Instead, a pale, long-limbed figure curled under my covers, twitching and shuddering while the machines recorded a slow, steady heart rate, nothing like my own. It wore my pajamas, but its face was a blurred smear, as if the camera refused to remember it. Terrified, I confronted the lead researcher, demanding answers. She just pressed her lips together and handed me a stack of old files, case after case, all unsolved, all with the same anomaly, patients vanishing from their own sleep studies, replaced by something unidentifiable on the recordings. The last page was a photo, grainy and dark, but unmistakable, the thing from my bed, its face starting to take on the shape of mine. I tried to leave that night, but my car keys were missing, and every exit seemed to loop back to the sleep lab. Now, as I record this, I feel bone-deep exhaustion, and the other researchers are gone. The cameras are still rolling. If you see this, check your own sleep footage. Pray you find yourself in the bed, because I realize now, whatever's been crawling under those covers, it's learning to be me.